Hey folks, thanks again for tuning in to Dude Craft Guitars. Guess what guys, it is demo day. Check it out, that is the B6.2. B6, James, yes, B6, it's a baritone. It's a 27.7 inch on this one, and it is a baritone six string, so B6. And .2 is because it's unlike the normal B6, I got a little high back, this one points to that direction. No, bad pun? All right, I may not do that again. But there you go. Anyway, so this is the B6.2. This one's got a bunch of neat little nerdy features. I'm gonna go over them because of those nerdy features. The sound demo is gonna be lengthy. I promise you, I have I have done this like four times now. I said I wasn't gonna tell you that, but I did because I can't stop playing this guitar. I just can't. And so I'm gonna to try to consolidate all the different sound things that you could do in a loop and get them in and out and done so you could hear it real quickly and not you know not have to sit around and watch me uh play as yeah for 20 something minutes i said i wanted to play this guitar really badly as i was building it i, I just said I, you know i can't wait to play this guitar really badly and apparently that's what i've been doing for the last hours playing it really badly but uh nonetheless we've got hip shot tuners locking tuners of course open gears love them and we've got hip shot bridge and we've got push-pull pots. Um, these are alphas, I believe. And then we've got the selector switch. Now, with these push-pulls and these pickups, check those out. Seymour Duncan P-Rails, that's right. We've got them. They're in there. And with this funky wiring thing that they've got, I actually read the instructions, if you could believe it. And uh, it does all kinds of, not just uh, splitting off the rails and, and enhancing the p90 effect but it does different phase shiftings all depending on how like i said i'm going to give it to you in the demo let's just do that let's just do it that's it that does it you're gonna to have to hear me play it. all right what do we got here uh i am going to do a loop it's just been the best way the last few demos for me to uh just indulge myself and play for 20 minutes no that's not what i'm trying to do it for i'm doing it so that you can get a good uh, sound sample of what each pickup configuration sounds like over each pickup configuration. That way uh, you can kind of get a sense of how it might blend uh, with your music, your band, your, your uh, productions. So let's give it to you. This is going to be both these down now gives you pure P90. You probably heard a moment ago I had the volume up. You could hear the little bit of the noise, a little bit of the hum. You are going to get a little bit of that, but that's because you're also going to get some really neat tones out of it. So I'm going to start with that and then you'll see. You'll see. Let's just do it. So I want to get a rhythm close enough. And I'm going to rehearse it real quickly before I hit the record button. Yeah, that'll work. I can tighten it up, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the same thing, but with a little distortion, so same pickup configuration. Now I'm gonna come up into P rail and it also does a little phase conversion.
Uh, let's see, this one. That's the shortest version I've done. Uh, I can't stop playing this guitar. It's just, just it's too much fun. Um, like I said, I wanted to play it badly, and that's pretty much what I've been doing for the last hour. And having a great time doing it. Uh, I can't say again how much I really love what I'm doing. I love the fact that I'm working with other guitarists, and I'm learning so much from them as far as this is. This thing is all in a funky tuning I've never played in before. Um, and the reason it's in that tuning is because that's the tuning that the customer is going to play it in. I set up the strings that he likes and the tuning he likes and therefore got the intonation all set up to how it's going to be when he plays. I'm not setting this up the way I like it. I'm setting it up the way he likes it and that's what I do for my customers. And in that respect, I have learned so much from so many of the great guitars that have, that have ordered guitars for me. And I can't say again enough how, how much I appreciate that. Thank you. You're helping this uh, little redheaded kid uh, fulfill his dreams and uh, I'm able to you know experiment and learn a little bit uh, not only as a guitar builder but as a guitarist and it's just been really great i appreciate it uh for that reason, Gary, I'm going to have to keep this thing for probably another three weeks for observation. Uh, yeah, no, I'm just kidding. It, it is ready to go. It as as if you say so. I mean, it sounds good to me. It plays well. Um, it's a beautiful guitar, and it was a pleasure to to make, and been a pleasure to uh, to test drive to demo. Uh, that's it. What more can I say? Thanks again, folks, for tuning in to Dude Craft Guitars. Please check out uh, more videos that we've got coming up. It's going to be more Day at the Dude Ranch. I am uh, continuing on with the uh, Naboy. I've got a bunch of videos in the can, so to speak, already for that. 
on the chips, on the card, whatever you want to call it these days. Anyway, I've got those videos coming up, and uh, as you can see, I'm getting more work done to it. And that's going to be cool. That thing should be finished pretty soon. That's the next one to technically get out of here. In the meantime, I've got about four others I'm working on at the same time. Um, and I've got about four more that I need to get going on. So it's been uh, one crazy ride. Uh, what can we say? You know, I appreciate it. Please click the like, subscribe button, all that jazz, and uh, get to see more and uh, hear more and, and see more. Hey, see more, Duncan. Check that out. Can you tell I woke up at 4 a.m.? I can. All right, folks, have a great time. Uh, you know, 